I had a conversation um, with this girl at a Detroit show um, who was was black and was telling me, and, and, I, and I had realized that I hadn't, that not, not that many people had told me this, but it made me really, really happy to hear. Um, and she was like, oh, I just, I, I really like appreciate like how you put, you know, all the pro black stuff in your music. Um, cause she's like, oh, like, I'm like, I'm like, um, I'm like, you know, she's like, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, yes. She was like, oh, like, I'm like 16 and it like makes me really happy to see somebody else that's like young and black and like stands for what I stand for, like doing things at like a, I guess like a high level. Um, and that made me realize that like, if I had that, like, I don't think any, I don't think any other artist would have been able to top that in my head. This is Redville, and you're in the lab with Carbon Sound. I feel like I'm. Uh, it's really weird to describe. I, I've always felt like I've like 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 younger than I'm supposed to be, and now I feel like I'm like catching up with myself. If that makes any sense, I don't think that makes any sense. But it's like I feel it feels like um like I don't know like I feel like I'm not young anymore you know what I mean I feel like I'm not I feel like I'm like I'm starting to get up there it's nothing that really scares me it's just like like being like young is such like a it's been like such a core part I guess of my identity and like how people perceive me so that when that starts to like fade away it's like oh shit I'm like becoming a normal like old person now you know what i mean because you're always like oh like this da, 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 and you're so young da, 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 and you're so young so it's like that's just like a part of i guess my identity that i always think about but i'm like 19 i'm not really i can't really like that's not really a flex anymore <laughs> you know what i mean i mean it's kind of it's a flex but it's not as much of a flex as like 16 you know what i mean my favorite one to play <clears throat> is probably captain it's off my new ep and I knew it was gonna be my favorite one when I made it like five months ago. It's probably that one. It's like really all the new ones, like like Captain, Black Enough with JPEG. It's because people just like go so crazy for that one. Um, Gift Bag, because it's like that song is like new, but like a lot of people know the words too. So it's like really sick. Um, yeah, definitely. I think those three are my favorite to perform right now. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, with that one, it's like, you know, with Learn to Swim, um, the way that I wanted to progress from the, the project before that, which is called Niagara, was like, I kind of just wanted to have like a more mature, like more fleshed out um, body of work. So sonically, it's not that far. It's like, a l it's a little bit different, obviously, just because I'm like, you know, growing and stuff as like a producer and a writer and, and stuff, but... It's not that far. Um, and then with the new one, you know, called Plan With Fire, I was going into it, one, trying to make show songs, right? So I was trying to make ones that were very, like, just fiery and explosive. Um, and then, two, just, like, given the fact that it's an EP, it's just, like, an opportunity for me to just try new stuff. It's just, like, a, it's an opportunity for me to just, like, have fun, just, just do whatever, just play with fire, so... Um, yeah, like it's, it represents, it definitely represents, um, a departure, like in that sense, um, in the sense that this is just like an opportunity for me to just try some, try some new stuff and have fun. But, um, you know, the next project after that, um, you know, it's probably going to be closer to learn to swim in terms of like. It'll be closer. To, it'll be closer to learn to swim in terms of like the lyrical content, um, and just like really talking about like core aspects of like my life and identity again, um, and going into more detail than I ever have before. But yeah. So with this EP, actually, I started making songs differently. Um, I started making music differently than I usually. Did. So usually, you know, I just, I'll make a beat, I'll write to it, whatever. If it's not like that good, then I'll end up abandoning it. Um, but I did something different with this one where I would go, I would go on my computer 
and I would start an idea, I give myself like five to ten minutes to just like basically exhaust it fully. And I would record just like a vocal idea off a of voice memo. Um and then I would just move on to the next one. So I had like like a lot of the songs that came out on this EP started like that. Um so I have the song called To the Side. That one's not on the project, but that one started like that. Uh, Black Enough started like that. Captain started like that. Um, and that kind of forced me to not overthink, especially because with what I was trying to do, like with this project and just make more like fun music, um, I knew that overthinking wasn't going to be an option. So um, I basically just used that to force myself to like, um, ha- like have like those first ideas that I would have with the beat to just have them somewhere where I could revisit them. Because a lot of times it's like, a lot of times the idea is not that bad. You just got to be able to like keep listening to it and like think about how you can expand on it. And so that gave me the opportunity to like go back to just like very like small, like faint ideas and expand on them. Bro, you lucky don't. Like you would think it's done and then you're like, wait, like two months later. Like, like for example, like, like Captain, like I made that song probably like five months ago. And I had like basically the version that came out now, I had that version for like four months. And then like basically like right as I was like getting it mixed and I was like, I was like, wait, I got to change this sample chop right here. This like for this, this three seconds. And then I changed that. And then it was like, okay, now it's done. And then I might listen to it, you know, three months down the line and be like, dang, I should have added that. You know what I mean? So it's just kind of done. It's 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 just done when you don't feel like adding anything to it anymore. But you like, I feel like a good idea. It'll always give you new ideas to add on to it. So it's kind of hard to tell when it's done. The album memes. Yeah. It depends. Sometimes I see. Sometimes I like see them on Discord or like or like Twitter, or Instagram. Sometimes I make them. Sometimes the homies make them. It's it just depends. I thought the one that the the one where the girls riding, learn to swim in the car is funny. When it's like, it's like, uh, bro, I can't even remember what it says, but that was funny. Album's so good I have to write it. Yes, album's so good I have to write it. <laughs> I'm so good I have to write it. And, um, and, um, the one that's like, the one that's like, uh, keep listening to learn to swim, we're gonna end up like this. I think I made that one too. Yeah. <laughs> it's so interesting that you asked me that, cause like, <clears throat> I feel like that for the first time now that I'm like kind of embracing more of like that home sound like a little bit. Um it's like it like for people that don't have that reference point, it it looks like I'm just trying to like sound mainstream or whatever. But I just have to remember that it's like it's like no, I don't care I don't care about like what's what radio rap or whatever it is. I'm not trying to sound like that. It's like it's a very, uh, bro, like, the function that, like, a young Manny or a Zaman or, or, or a Gunu had for me at, like, 14, 15, it's basically equivalent to, like, all of the, like, the classics that your parents would put on and be like, man, music, music like this don't come out anymore. Like, people don't make music like this anymore. Like, the way that that is so sentimental for them and that will scratch their brain in a way that nothing else can just because of the sentimental value that's like that that's the function that that music has for me. So to me, <clears throat> I saw it as like why not try to like incorporate more of that just a little bit. Um and like you kind of just I kind of just have to remember that like I can do whatever I I want as long as it's good. Um and people may like think that it's like oh I'm trying to do this thing or I'm trying to do that thing or they may not like it cuz it's different from this sound, right? But I'm not making music for anybody. Um but myself, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the, at the end of the day, like that's at at its core, like that's what a creative outlet is. It's something for yourself. So as long as you're doing it to your highest ability, you know, people are always gonna have something to say if it's a departure from this or if it's a departure from that. But um, you know, we just gotta gotta like block it out. We're in like a cool time right now because there's like more representation, I think, for like alternative black like youth than like ever before like if you talk to like 
alternative black people that are older, they'll tell you, like, when I was coming up, it wasn't a, you know, t- it wasn't cool to, like, be in anime and or be a skater or, you know, dress like Tyler the Creator or whatever. Like, that wasn't, like, cool. You know what I mean? So now it's, like, we're kind of, the age group I'm at, we're kind of the ones that are, like, seeing this change happen to where it's, like, becoming more, I guess, socially acceptable to be, like, black and alternative. Um, and I just want that to continue. I just want there to be more, like, I just want there to be more of those, like, Tyler the Creator, like, representation type people that make black kids feel like they can wear anything they want or do anything they want. Because when I was, you know, <clears throat> coming into my own identity, like, middle school or whatever, that was that was basically, like, the 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 one point of representation I felt like I had was like a Tyler Creator. You know, it was like it was like, you know, everybody else that like is big in music or just big in pop culture that's black is like these are like, you know, really cool, talented people or whatever, but they don't really they don't really inspire me to like be who I am like this person does. You know what I'm saying? This this there's very like it's a very rare thing that I feel like there's like black alternative people that make it to that very like top you know what I'm saying so I just want there to be more of those I I want there to be more opportunity for black kids to feel like oh yeah I can really do whatever I want like demographics what like like the like just the most what I see the most common you can probably guess right (laughs) it'd be like some it'd be like some white dude or whatever from Ran some random suburb, um, but like, I've definitely realized that like, even though that's like what people, not even just people, but like me, um, like what I I guess thought like my supporter base was, like, um, the bigger that my music gets, the more I realize like how um, diverse. Um, like my supporter base is. So it's really everybody. Like it's really everybody. Like I remember I even did a meetup in LA and it was like, it was like mad diverse. It was like mad diverse and it made me really happy. And like, um, you know, I started getting, like when I did the PG Baby remix, um, after that I started to get like more love back home. So like, you know, it's like people from back home, it's all black people um that are that like will that like show love and everything um and then it's like you know these white kids from the suburbs so it's it's um it's an it's a nice it's a nice mix it's a nice mix of everybody yeah and it's like it's always uh it's always cool like when i'm talking to somebody or whatever and i don't expect them to like know my music and they do and it and i may like uh, I guess kind of profile them in the sense of like oh, I just don't think this person would know my music and and I feel like I've I've gotten surprised you know what I'm saying so yeah it's cool and an ideal Red Veil fan I would just want them any I just want and it ties into this question as well um like on a on a more general standpoint like. I would just want the ideal fan to be anybody that feels like they um, need comfort, you know what I'm saying, in music and and um, and like a reminder that they can push through whatever they're trying to push through, and that they're not alone in whatever they may be feeling. Like that's like that's an ideal. Um, Red Veil fan, like on a general standpoint, but I had a I had a conversation um, with this girl at a Detroit show um, who was was black and was telling me, and and I, and I had realized that I hadn't that not not that many people had told me this, but it made me really really happy to hear. Um, and she was like, "Oh, I just like, I really like appreciate like how you put you know all the pro black stuff in your music." Um, Cause she's like, "Oh, like I'm like." And like, um, I'm like, you know, she's like, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, yes. 
she was like, oh, like I'm like 16 and it like makes me really happy to see somebody else that's like young and black and like stands for what I stand for, like doing things at like a, I guess like a high level. Um, and that made me realize that like if I had that, like I don't think any, I don't think any other artist would have been able to top that in my head. If I was like, if I was like 13 or 14, or 15 and there was like somebody that was like close to my age that like believed in all this that was like also black and alternative and believed in all this stuff that I believed in politically and like was like getting recognition that would like no one would be able to hold a candle to that so like um in a sense like that's also the idea of Red Bill fan is like the person that like needs that representation it's crazy, bro. Nigga, bro. Sorry, I don't. Can I say nigga? <laughs> bro, people say nigga at my shows, sometimes. Like rarely. I I feel like I feel like it's like I feel like it's like I feel like people say nigga less at my shows than they do at other shows, which is good. But like every once in a while, I like see somebody and I have to correct them, cause it's like, and it's just weird, cause it's like if you listen to what I'm saying, it's like why are you saying this? You know what I'm saying? It's like this is like very like like outwardly like pro black you know what i'm saying like i don't know how it just it's 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 i think and this is why cuz i don't think anybody has a problem with like like people just enjoying art or anything but the problem comes where it's like you're so disconnected from what it's actually about that you can look in the artist's face and say nigga to them as they're rapping about racism you know what i'm saying it's like when it becomes so disconnected from when your like enjoyment becomes so disconnected from like the actual like pain or like trauma that the music is rooted in then it comes into question it's like do you even really like understand what's going on here and like appreciate it in the way that you should you know which is always like a question that's like kind of hard to like deal with as like an artist but you know that's uh capitalism you gotta roll with it like you can't really you you don't really have the option to be that that selective if you want to like like feed yourself you know yeah i mean i guess i would i guess i would again like go back to um at least with my art making people feel understood making people feel comforted um and That's really like the most important. That's like way more important than like everything else for me. You yeah. know. Everything else is kind of just like additional. Like that's like that's like the most important thing, I think. Cuz music was that music that was that's what music was for me when I was like when I was first started really getting into it when I was 12, 13, that's what it was for me and it saved my life. So that's that's all I want to do is just continue that.